integrated math three practice test for TN ready question on this version anyway number 17 this is subpart two so we could use a calculator I doubt you'll need it here but who knows Alice is half as old as Leo Leo is three years younger than Samara write an equation that gives Samara's age s in terms of Alice's age a enter your answer in the space provided so since we're using unknown amounts, we'll probably have to use variables. The three variables that I'm going to use will be A, of course, that's Alice's age, L for Leo's age, and then Samara's age as well. So those are the three variables I'm going to end up using. I guess to get started, the best plan is to start to create variable expressions for the things that we already know, right? So Alice is half as old as Leo. So we can say that Alice's age is equal to, you could div either do L divided by two, or maybe you'll do one half of whatever L is. So if Leo is 18, then Alice is nine. The other thing we know, so check there, Leo is three years younger than Samara. So Leo is equal to Samara minus three so that's what we have so far now the thing that's nice about having variables is that we can manipulate these statements to say different things or we can change the point of view let's say that so in the first case I want to find something about Samara's age so I should probably get Samara's age by itself as a variable so instead of having L equals S minus three I can just I'm going to solve it essentially, but it's not really a, a total solution. So I need to get rid of minus 3 for this to be by itself. So I'm going to use the opposite operation of plus 3 and say S is equal to L plus 3. So if I want to rewrite that over here and just to keep everything looking reasonable, I will. Now, that's pretty helpful, right? We already have something for Alice, so let's see if that's useful to us. Well, the problem is the variable that's used in the equation that defines Samara's age is Leo's variable, not Alice's variable. So we need to take that A equals one half L and move that around a little bit. What do I do to get rid of times one half? Well, I mean, you could divide by one half, or you could remember that uh, a quick way to get rid of one half is just to multiply everything by two. So, because you'll get two times one, and this is already two over one, and then they'll cancel out, and you'll just be left with one, which is exactly what you want. So, if I multiply this by two, I have to multiply this side by two as well, and I end up with these canceling L is equal to two. A. So I'm going to write that up here, and again, I, the thing that I'm really interested in is the L, so I'm going to put L is equal to 2A. Just to reiterate, I'm trying to find Samara's age, so once I identify the appropriate um, e equation here, I needed to manipulate it so that the Samara's age is by itself, then I looked at that equation to determine what I was going to do next. I couldn't use this form really because A is not in this equation that I want. And if I can get everything down into the original equation, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm at my final stage, and I'm going to use these two things up here to help me. This is what I'm looking for. But I know that this is true, so I'm going to substitute this L value for 2A and I'm left with my final answer. So if I can, f if I want to find Samara's age, and I know what Alice's age is, I'll multiply Alice's age by two, add three, and that gives me Samara's age. So that's it. And you can have other versions of this as long as it's equivalent, it's fine. So if you had something like S minus three equals two A, they'd probably let you get away with that as well. But just try to get the variable by itself. It'll make things much easier. This is more of a focus on perspective. You probably can do this one. You probably can do this one. You can probably get to the end, but if you can't, you need to learn to manipulate the formulas and equations around to get them from the perspective that's most beneficial to you as you get to the end.